Hey, welcome to the channel. I think I'm gonna try to tune in to the feminine energy. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna upload this. We'll see how it goes. If you're here, thanks for being here. Hope you're well. Let's see what messages maybe have to come out for the water, the water energy. Why did I say that? Oh, all right, you know what? This will be for the feminine water energies. Okay, I I don't mind doing um like there's no problem doing like a specific uh sign like uh you know honing in on just a sign. But honestly, I don't know. Like, I'm a Pisces, Gemini rising, uh, Aquarius moon, Capricorn in my Venus. If you don't know what that means, it means I'm a fucking mess. I'm all over the place. I have one Earth in my chart. Alright, anyway, the point is, I'm a Chinese dragon. Fire. Anyway, the point is that, um... Someone can be a zodiac sign, but depending on their chart, which I really strongly believe that if you're going to be into that, you know, get your chart done, see what your rising is, your moon, Venus. It's just interesting. I mean, I guess, you know, in the bigger scale of things, it doesn't really matter, but it's super interesting. And, um, all right, we're going to hone in on the water, feminine water energy. Tell me about the feminine water energy that might be uh, needing a message. Feminine water energy. Mm, one more. Okay, let's see what comes through. I have the lovers on the bottom. Alright, let's see. And seven of wands on the bottom. Let's see, let's see. I have an eight of wands. Eight of Cups, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, Three of Cups, Six of uh, Pentacles, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, water energy. Let's uh, see where this goes, eh? Wow, there's a lot of wands here, okay? One, one. Okay, okay, focus. Let's see. Let's start here, eh? Okay, water energy. Well, Eight of Wands is movement, a message. Eight of Cups is walking away, in reverse, walking back. We'll uh, go deeper, let's see what that has to go with. And here I guess current energy, the Chariot and the Hanged Man, Cancer energy, Pisces energy, the Chariot. Well, the Chariot, Chariot and Cancer represents 
how, okay, so in some of the cards, uh, this isn't, this is that the Del Toro deck, but Tomas, I don't want to mess up his last name, in, um, original decks, older decks, the, you know, Chariot is, um, it's from kind of a biblical, um, story, but the two, the two animals in the front, sometimes they're moving, sometimes they are sitting, sometimes they're going, like, one sitting this way, one that way. Sometimes the, the Cancer doesn't go straight, doesn't take the straight, a straight road, right? The crab walks from side to side. The crab has that hard shell, but that soft, mushy inside. There's a lot going on with the Cancer energy. And, um, Pisces energy. Um, yeah. This card... <laughs> Alright. Hanged Man is all about being in an uncomfortable... Somewhat uncomfortable position, but, like, in your head. In a positive light, in finding illumination through that meditative type of, um, state. Alright, we'll look deeper, but, you know, let's see. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups. This can also sometimes be a Cancer card. It can talk about how Cancer can sometimes be influenced by what's going on around them, their friends and stuff like that. Maybe doing things to impress their friends, for friends, um, more so than maybe, um, you know, others might go out of their way to do. We'll, we'll go deeper, but... Seven of Pentacles, watching what we've worked on grow, um, or watching what we've worked on slip away. I don't know, let's find out. And on the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Wands, which is um, on the defense. But underneath that was the Ace of Wands, which is a pretty... Aces are good cards, right? Like, new beginnings, passion, creativity. All right, water energy. Let's see where this goeth. Let's see. Why is, um... What is the eight, these two eights here? Why is the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups here for the past water energy, please? Why is the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups here for this water energy, for the past energy? What was the message, or what was the movement that they go from or towards? Uh, Queen of Wands on the bottom. Let's see. Well, I have a page of discs. Very slow moving. Looks like a chess piece. It's torn open. Ace of Wands. New beginning, new passionate beginning. Um, the King of Swords, looking defeated in this, um, Death, the Knight of Pentacles, alright, let's figure this out, going towards a new passion at beginning. Possibly with a king of swords? You may have been um, handing your passion and starting a new beginning with a king of swords energy. I don't know if it was a positive, if it was a good king of swords, then he was just and knowledgeable and honest. 
protective possibly. Now, then we went to the page of discs and the night of discs. The page, a small, um, a small offering of love sometimes. The night, fast moving energy. Although the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight of all the knights, but usually his, um, his patience pays off. But he's very slow. And then I have death, so... This could be the shedding of um, an old skin. Um, this could be the, <laughs> the ending of whatever this was. It started with this and it ended with that. Maybe whatever you thought you were moving towards didn't work out. All right, because the current energy is the chariot and the hanged man. All right, let's see why this is here. Let's see, let's see where this goes. And on the bottom, I had the queen of wands, with the queen of goblets. This could be that there's a lot of the emperor underneath. There could actually be a lot of actual people involved. All right, let, let's look deeper. Um, why is the, why is the chariot and the hanged man here? Uh, seven of cups on the bottom, let's see. Five of swords, six of wands. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, to the Page of Cups. All right, let me check this out. of swords is like it's fighting I don't know if I'm feeling like celebrate alright next to that in this I'm feeling like you're choosing at a crossroads at a crossroads ugh the swords. You should be celebrating, but okay, you're making a choice to like take this small, a small cup. I mean, this is a page of cups. It's just a small little offering. Because back here, you know, to have like an ace and a king. And then that, and it's just kind of a, all right, whatever, you know, this puts you into, um, moving into, all right, <clears throat> so this death energy, this could be Scorp this Scorpio energy, water sign, um, I don't know what this, um, is for you. We, we can look a little deeper, but um, whatever this ending, like ultimate ending, you know, not just like a walking away, but, but it's the death card. So like, it's, it's a permanent ending. Put you into a, um, where you felt like you had to move. Now, chariot in um, positive, you know, upright, like, moving forward, knowing... Uh, Alright, look. When you're in chariot mode, 
this is uh, alright because I could go on and on when you're in fucking chariot mode you might be going full on speed ahead knowing your destination boom chariot like think of that image like strong um self-assured knowing the direction they're going but like in the neg negative aspect like it would be moving instead of full on steam ahead like like the crab you know like you're moving left to right back and forth um not take either way the chariot's going to end up at their destination though okay because the chariot has a place to go all right does that make sense so i just need i felt like i needed to get that out there and the same thing with this hangman it's like it's like uncomfortable oh man like actually maybe feeling like a little baby again um specifically from this image in this card i please don't be disturbed overly disturbed but if you are um i love this deck <clears throat> i don't look at the images like in a dark way so um i apologize if you do <clears throat> i get i i get from the, look the hangman pisces energy being in a like meditative state but you in the upright position like uncomfortable like it doesn't feel good you might not even want to be in that position but you are you cannot get out of it you are hanging you're hanging in the fucking tree you know in the in the old deck like a, it but reversed after all of that hanging upside down in that state you come out illuminated you know what I mean? Alright, so let's just... But you ended up in this place because of however... Okay. <clears throat> okay. You moved away. This could represent a message or, like, shit in your head that you let go of. But y you left something in the, like, the recent past, or the past, or, or maybe if, timeless reading, whatever, time is irrelevant, you fucking, you fucking moved on, and left stuff in the past, you may have physically moved, but whatever it was, it was a passionate, you were passionate about it, it was, it was for a new beginning, um, Perhaps, actually, this didn't represent a person. Maybe this represents the new beginning where you were the king of swords. Like, like standing up for yourself, you know, um, feeling like you had found your own truth, your own, your own, whatever. This passionate new, like, because this could be, I mean, like, you know, you could look at this in a very fallacy way. But um, it represents creativity, new beginning, passion. Aces are new beginnings, new paths. Like, maybe this was the energy you were in, um, in the beginning. You know, like the positive king of, uh, king of sword energy. And you literally moved. But it took time, because he's slow, so you were patient about it. You were virtuous. You were virtuous in your journey. And then you got to where you needed to be, and you were like, yeah. I'm sitting here now. I can chill. I can open myself up, show my inner gears, and then boom. So I don't know what happened. Uh, we'll clarify. Or maybe I don't need to and we could see from these next, but something, boom, this happened. Death happened. And then it moved you into a uh, hanged man energy. And if you want to get, you know, whatever about it, and actually base it on this, like, if I look at this image and base it on that, this, this little soul right now, it's stuck. It's not where it should be, which is in the womb of its mama. Okay. Fuck me. And then five of swords. So, this puts you in a five of swords, where you're feeling defensive towards others, yourself, maybe you're actually fighting with the people around you. Seven of Wands, in the reverse, not being defensive, 
upright defensive juggling either between that choice of like like do you want to fight maybe you're juggling two of pentacles is juggling okay juggling or not juggling in reverse okay so maybe you're juggling between wanting to fight with everyone you know oh six of wands is like being celebrated did i say seven i'm a dumbass sorry that's being celebrated in reverse not being celebrated like being celebrated six of wands is being celebrated by others like for your accomplishments so in reverse the opposite so perhaps you are juggling between fighting with everyone not wanting to fight being celebrated for your accomplishments feeling like you're not being celebrated for your accomplishments fuck me and then it was the page the page of cups that small little offering of love in reverse you know ugh. and choosing three of wands is for me like choosing like choosing the path so maybe right now <clears throat> excuse me, the energy you're in is you're choosing the path of lesser love all right and then the last cards that fell were the three of cups Six of uh, Pentacles. All right, let's clarify. Six of Pentacles. That's like giving crumbs, getting crumbs, or not. It... Jesus. So six six of Pentacles is sometimes in the image is a man with two people kneeling before him that are obviously in need, and he's prosperous. And sometimes he's giving more to one person than the other. Um, so this could be where you feel like you're... When I look at this, I feel like it's either, you know, sometimes you feel like in reverse, like maybe you feel like you're getting crumbs, you're not getting what you deserve. Um, maybe you need help. Uh, maybe you need help from your friends. All right. Now... On the bottom is the Seven of Cups. Two of Swords. Ace of Cups beneath that. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Um, Alright, look. Seven of, uh, seven of Cups is choices. Okay? Upright, many choices. Each cup representing a different type of choice in your life. Sometimes, you know, in, in the, it, sometimes it's a person looking at all their choices. Not knowing what to choose. Two of Swords. Keeping, keeping yourself uh, blindfolded from a truth, from a choice. About, about where you should give your cup to. I'm even seeing you handing this cup to your own self, you know, like your heartbroken state right now. Because when that's upside down, I see. It. Yeah. All right, let's just look deeper. Yeah, and beneath that, I had the lovers, which is like new pure love energy. And uh, being on the defense. Why is the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here for the feminine water energy that might be tuning in?
Alright, that's a fucking shitload, but I'm gonna take it, because it fell out. This fell out here. This fell out. Alright. <clears throat> this is... This is heavy duty. Um, alright. I have the high priestess on the bottom, but before I look at anything, because so many fell out, let's just start here. Okay. So on top of death... Because I was thinking in my head, I didn't say it out loud, but... I was thinking, why is this here? I should really clarify why this is here. So I'm going to take that as a sign from whatever that this is why that card's here. Because something puts you in a really... You started off... This started off where you... Yeah, I won't repeat myself. You were there. Okay, so this is here. Let's see why. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see why. I have the lovers. I have the nine of wands. The nine of cups to the five. Okay. So, lovers signifying the purest, well, Gemini energy. Listen, if this was a person, um, it could have been a Gemini energy. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry. Scorpio energy. Or Gemini energy, that's what I meant. Apologies. Forgive, forgive. This is the purest kind of love, okay? Um, this could represent, I'm, this is just me. It, in the, um, the, the, you know, old deck, it's Adam and Eve. It's, in my opinion, the purest, the purest type of love. The beginning, it doesn't always represent, um, you know, actual two physical people like like the king and queen together it's 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 the most purest beginning states of unity and love um it could be two people from two different worlds it it could be someone that like I, this is what i'm getting from this like like one of you could have felt like like this person's so amazing and beautiful i'm a beast in comparison um literally feeling illuminated by the love that you got from from that energy and with the nine of wands that's being after the battle feeling wounded it's it's kind of a wounded warrior standing still kind of standing guard I don't know if there's threats in for them to be standing guard, but they're usually bandaged up and um, standing, holding their staff, looking a little defeated. And this is the wish, your wish card, like, like your what you wish for, your desires. Mm, um, if it's like reverse, then maybe you feel like empty of your desires right now or something because it's going to the five of cups which that's looking at so the five of cups is where you are sitting and looking down at three cups that are spilled and those spilled cups is everything that you've lost it's it's all the things that you you put into your cups like like your your physical love for maybe another person, the love for you, you know, your family, um, the love you put into your work and to build your financial stability, and maybe feeling like like you're you're looking at things that have spilled, but behind you are two to three cups still standing, depending on the card. Um, so this is kind of a card that shows you're keeping your you you're choosing you're choosing to look at what you've lost instead of what you still have but it could be reversed where you you know could turn around and look at it and maybe you will because at the bottom is the high priestess so the high priestess I mean, underneath that, the moon. All right, look. For a reading that's been 
heavy. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I expected because I did say water energy and geez Louise, I mean, if you don't, you can't get deeper than water, right? I guess I don't have a bunch of puddles watching. We have a bunch of oceans here. Um, there's a lot of depth going on. I'm almost scared to see what's under the fucking moon. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, this is a good way to end it, I think. <sighs> yeah, this was, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I just went into a nice dip in the ocean. Okay, okay, um, feminine hoarder energy who's um, resonating with this. At the bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess. And you can't get better than this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, maybe you right now are in, um, reverse high priestess mode but i don't care it's still the high priestess and um for me this is for me this is like the best card in the deck for me because she's she's just all fucking knowing she holds all the answers in her hands she's sitting all right look you know when like this isn't just for me when i don't i don't super dig on energies that are like just like almost exploiting their I don't want to say this the wrong way. Um, alright. When someone is like, in my, alright, for me, don't, don't tell me unless I ask. Alright? I don't, I don't like, and I'm not saying I've never been someone who gotten up on the soapbox. Because I have. I've been that bitch. I've learned the hard way. Um, if you ask me, I love to tell you. Oh, I got stories. I got, I got advice. I got, I got it. Come ask. I'd love to tell. But I ain't going out of my way. I don't, that's this person. She has, she's, she's truly enlightened to the point that, like, she's sitting there, okay? She's holding all the answers in her hand. Her third eye is open. She is, like, an enlightened, an enlightened energy. And she's looking right here. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome that the moon, Pisces energy, is under this, because she's literally, not only by herself does she already fucking rock, but she's next to the moon, okay? Everything hidden, balance between energies, you have the, the wolf, the wolf, wolf, doggy, and the, ah, wah, I love wolves, um, that's me, um, the wolf, the carn, you know, the beast, this is balanced energy, both looking towards illuminated, just whatever was hidden, whatever was darkness for you, whatever you were hiding from yourself, whatever felt like so much work, all right? Tires, look, eight of um, pentacles is you ver working tirelessly at your craft, your love, your home, whatever it is that you focus on. And in a ne negative aspect, right, it's like not being able to do that stuff or whatever, like, but under that it was strength, Leo energy, taming the beast, okay? So if I have the moon here and I have like two energies when they're on balance, not being able, like the, the domesticated part of you and the beast part of you in the darkness, in the unilluminated, this is finding illumination. All right, this, this when it's positive, and this when it's positive is moving into illumination. So the fact that like you, you, all this, whatever this was, I don't know if it was it, whatever this was, you know what this was if you're resonating with this. You move toward a negative hanged man energy, but at the end, as just like water signs do, when when water signs do what they need be doing, you're gonna end up in that high priestess, the best fucking card that you could fucking get. Sorry to say fuck so much, but it's fucking true. All right, especially with this moon here, because this, she's the one who sees everything that no one else can. Okay, so out of all of this, look, sometimes we have. <sighs> Sometimes, we can't, oh crap, how do you give advice? There's no advice for this, 
other than luck. You can only con control yourself, okay? You can only control yourself. So, the circumstances around you, there's things we can't control. Like this. Being born, at the beginning, the end, it's what we do with the time in between, okay? And sometimes, we gotta be in some of this energy. Like, you gotta hang in it, you gotta, you gotta be in the juice of it, you gotta fucking soak in it. But don't stay there forever. And, um, let's see if, you know, we'll just see if something come out. Oh shit, I didn't look at this, are you fucking kidding? Alright man, that's funny. Were y'all like, is this bitch gonna pay attention to that? Wow, okay, I'm hilarious. Well, there you go, I'm just gonna take this here, hey? Seven of Wands, the Tower in Reverse. Knight of Wands, the Fool. Five of Wands, four of Cups, three of Swords to the five. Okay. I'm going to take this as the advice. Thank you. And this is how we're going to take this. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Defensive. Put your defense down eventually. I mean, I, you know, <clears throat> sometimes you got to be a little defensive. Maybe that's, you know, it, you're feeling, especially if you're um, in cancer energy, in that soft crab on the inside, hard crab on the outside, moving around, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Feeling defensive and stuff, you know. But it, five of Pentacles. All right, you're feeling um, <laughs> financial burden, maybe feeling out, left in the cold. <clears throat> you might even have a child or something in the old deck. It's it's the girl. It always looks to me like a girl and like her little brother that has um, literally like with crutches, his leg is injured, and they're, it's snowing, it's cold, they look a mess, they're passing like at the front of a church, and there's coins falling. Maybe they could go inside, some people look at it like, I don't know if they're welcome in there, but it represents feeling financial loss and burden and being left in the cold. So in reverse, this could be, in a positive way, you feeling the opposite of that. Maybe in this, in the negative, is defense, but maybe in the positive, it's letting down defenses. Maybe, you know, you take it, you take it how you need it, water energy. Three, three of swords is, um, three swords through the heart. It's total heartache. Um, ten swords is like ten, you know, someone backstabbing you. Three swords is feeling total, ugh, three swords through the heart. I, I, you get it, man. But in reverse, that's... You know, it being pulled out. So take it how you need it. Four of Cups is the gods literally like handing you. The, you're sitting. You're like not really paying attention. You look kind of perturbed in the in the image, depending on the the artwork. Um. Your hands are crossed. You're like bleh. There's three cups sitting in front of you. One is being handed to you from God himself themselves, the gods themselves, but you're not paying attention to it. So either that is the energy you're in, or it was. How are we going to take it? What our energy? Are we going to reverse it? Um, five of Wands. Again, fighting, um, like, <laughs> it's a bunch of people, like, like, not hearing each other, not, not even, like, fighting in a way that makes sense. So, are you gonna do that and stay in that, or are you gonna reverse that? The Fool. Look, I like the Fool card. The Fool, new beginning. Sometimes blindly, look, in a, could be blindly walking, jumping off the cliff <clears throat> into, I don't know what. What? I don't know. Um, in this card, he's looking a little battered, he actually looks stunned. He looks a little stunned to me. 
Um, you know, you've been through it. You've been through a little battle there, but guess what? You're taking your little your little bag there. You got your stick. You got your little bandage on, and you're gonna go to the new, towards a new beginning, or are you not? I don't know. You have to decide. <sighs> and the Knight of Wands, nymph, little nymph energy. Um, this is passion. This is um, fast moving. Are you gonna move towards your passion? What's your passion? Water energy. Is that the thing that's going to help you, perhaps, get to, you know, move along from, you know? Because <clears throat> this is a, this is a beautiful card. The colors are beautiful. It's uplifting, okay? You've been through a lot, but you're wiser for it. It's a little nymph, but he's been around, he's been around the block. And his ride, it's reliable, okay? And the tower, in reverse, all right? This is your final advice, and I have 11-11 on my clock, all right? Time is irrelevant to me, but when I see 11-11 or 3-3-3, I'm, I'm on it. So, the tower, okay? In reverse. Look, this is you. This is you. The tower is chaos. The tower is like the worst card in the deck, all right? I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I don't do that shit. The tower's the worst card. I'm glad it came out in reverse, though. That's awesome. But even if it didn't, I'd still be straight with you. I don't, you know, I gotta be. So look, the tower is... Everything, every, everything you've built, yeah? But everything you built was built on unstable ground. In the other deck, it's like lightning coming down. The, the tower is like exploding. People are falling out of it into sometimes like dark waters or like just a stone ground. It's like the foundation was not stable that the tower was built on so that when that lightning crashed from, from the fucking gods that was beyond the control of anything around, okay, anyone, happened, the tower had no way of, there was no way that tower was going to be able to stand, okay, the people inside it were fucked, Every, it, it just, the, the foundation was screwed from the beginning, in this card, the tower is built on the neck of a fucking person, so I'm going to look at that like that's you, so maybe in the beginning, what you thought was a solid foundation, perhaps when you made this move. When you made this move. Because there was a move in the beginning. I won't repeat myself. You were fucking there. Or maybe from the very beginning. Maybe you thought you had your feet on solid ground. But being a fucking water sign. If, I don't know what your chart is. I don't know how deep in the water your, your soul is. But uh, yeah, it could take some time sometimes for the water signs to really, you know... There's a lot of ocean out there. Sometimes the path ain't so straight. Sometimes you're in puddles. Sometimes you're in the stream, the pond, the lake, the fucking deepest fucking... Oceans go deep, deep, deep. Oceans go so deep that there are parts of the ocean... The ocean's like the, the space. It's endless. There's parts of it we'll never, we'll never be able to see, feel, touch, look at. Because... Our eyes aren't meant for it. Our, our bodies, souls, and eyes aren't meant for all of that. Sometimes we gotta accept that there aren't answers for everything. I'm one of these people, I'm not trying to find, I'm not trying to be like gods. I'm not trying to find enlightenment. To, I don't want all those answers. I don't need all those answers. They're not meant for me. That's just me. You do you, girl, boy, son, child, whatever, whoever, how, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on a rant um, about my... Uh, stop. Focus. Look, from this card, I'm getting that this this energy... And it, again, it came out in reverse. In God's grace. But this is showing that whatever 
maybe your head, whatever you your stability was, whatever you felt was your stability, that, you know, your everything you built, you get what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> I could go on and on, obviously. It was, it wasn't built on staple ground to begin with, okay? And that's all right. That's all right. Because it's in reverse. So now, that chaos, all right, it's done. It can be done. You can let go of it. You can let go of it. When it's time, you can let go of it. Because this was at the bottom. I, sh I should, I'm sorry, I kind of glanced over that. But this should have been at the, you know, this, this is your, this is your ending, okay? For this revamp. I'm sorry if that was a little chaotic, but guess what? This fucking energy was fucking chaotic, eh? Um, alright, I hope this was helpful for somebody. Um, feminine water energy, thank you for being here. If, um, if you want to support the channel, give a like on the video. That's a great way to support this little channel. Subscribe if you would like to see, um, videos in the future. If you want to leave a comment, that'd be great. Let me know if it resonated or if you want me to, um, do a specific, you know, uh, a zodiac sign next time and um yeah this was a heavy reading and um but you're gonna be okay okay the tower in reverse high priestess energy um yeah just uh you know what not to sound cheesy but and you didn't ask for my advice but what I do when I'm in this this place, because I've been in this place, I know this place. Um, I pray, I pray, I talk to my God, and um, if that's not your thing, like you're like, oh, that's weird. No, you don't have to. You talk to the higher power. If you've never tried it, maybe you should. Um, it's gotten me through times that I never thought I'd get through. So. I hope this helps in some sort of way. If nothing else, know that you're not alone. And um, I um, pray that we will all be held in God's loving light and the hands of his um, grace. God's, God's grace to all of us, okay? See you next time, Water Energies.